Hello everybody, this is JD again. I just want to tell you something. I found out how many votes I got. Millions. <laughs> Almost all the discarded votes of the nine and a half million that was, was mine. They discarded them because I did not have a vice president and I did not have electoral delegates. So they discarded the votes. At least that's what they said. That's why they were discarded. Well, they told me that up front. And I did have a vice president, but she quit on me. Well, what do you want? You know, she said okay, and then later on she said no, she couldn't because of financial reasons. Okay, so what am I doing this video for? I mean, the election's over, isn't it? Yeah, the election's over, but I made a promise to you people. I promised you as long as you support me, I would not quit on you. Well, if I stop now, isn't that quitting on you? Or should we start looking for something else? I'm not going to quit on you. I gave you my word that as long as I have one supporter, I would not quit. It's just that now I have time. Time is on my side. The people out there who didn't believe in me with the money now know I am real. You, my supporters, need to let them know you are real. It's time for us to seriously look at what's going on. Did you see what's going on in the right now in Washington? The Democrats are lining up to take the White House. They were the ones who had it before. And we have an interesting dilemma here. Same-o, same-o. Hey, I said, there is no change. The only change you're going to have in the White House is that the people, the head man has a better tan than the guy that's leaving. Any difference? No. A politician is a politician. Bottom line. So, what am I saying? Just because you got a better tan than somebody else, that makes you different? That makes you change? No. That's not the case. I am going to say, yes, he turned the whole black community upside down. Not my world. Because my world knew that if you get outside the black community, all that crap that his reverent right was saying was crap. The truth of the matter is, if you go into this country, they accept you for who you are. Not the tan or the degree of tan that you have. And that's all. So these people who've been preaching hate to all these people, what are they going to do now? Telling the world, oh, the white is supremacy us. Oh, wait a minute, we got a black president. Oh, my. No, it's never been that way. In the 60s, it was. But not now. But that ain't what I'm here to talk to you about. I'm here to talk to you about what I represent. I represent the individual, the right of the individual in this country. I represent the people the government is supposed to serve, not the servants of the government. I represent the American citizen. It doesn't matter the shape of their eyes. It doesn't matter the degree of their tan. It doesn't matter whether they're male or female. They are an individual and as a collective group we are Americans I represent our heritage this is from the Heritage Foundation because without our heritage we are nothing doesn't matter where you came from your heritage is who you are what you make of it says what your heritage means I represent this 
I don't know if you can see it. The Constitution and Declaration of Independence. That's what our country's based on. And as long as I have one supporter out there, one person who believes in me, I can not quit. Sorry, people, those who thought that, well, after the election, you wouldn't have to hear me rant on and on. And hey, I did get millions of votes. They were all discarded. But now I have time to get the things together. I have time to get electoral delegates in each and every state. I have time to find a vice president. I have time to put together a party in which spirit, remember spirit, my mascot, let me get him back so you can see him, will be our emblem, not a donkey, not an elephant, a bald eagle with red, red, and blue wings and a hat. He probably picked it up from Uncle Sam when he dropped it. So we have spirit. Yes, spirit, the American spirit, that's what we are. We have heritage, the American heritage, that's what we are. We have the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution, that's what we are. <clears throat> we believe our government is way too large. We do not allow the states to exercise the authority they should exercise. We believe that our tax system is unfair, unjust, and overburdened upon the American individual. Yes, those are just a few things. But above all else, we believe the purpose of the government is to serve the people, the individuals, and to recognize the individuals as they are, and not the opposite. The individuals are to conglomerate into a one mass and to serve the government. You know what a conglomerate is? You can find it. Cement is a conglomerate. But cement is not. It recognizes the individuals that go into it to make cement. The lime, the granite, the little stones to make that concrete that the foundations is built on it takes a conglomerate a recognition of all the individual facets put together and we're gonna put a strong foundation together yes people I made a promise to you as long as there was one individual out there one who believed in me and supported me I would not quit. I'm going to keep that promise because I did make it. I thought I was done. I'm all done and over. And my wife said, you're done. Good. But then I said, wait a minute. I made a promise. And that I have to live by. So yes, get ready. Be prepared. You're not going to get a video every single night. But we are just now beginning on the next stage of our successful endeavor. We've already proved we have the right stuff. We just need the rest of the nation to hear us. We need the news to start covering us, not ignoring us. So all you out there, you need to spread the word. It's not over yet, and we've just started. Have a nice day. Remember, don't vote Republican, don't vote Democrat, vote American in all your endeavors. Let's start saying it a little different. Don't live Republican, don't live Democrat, live American. Live free and believe in yourself. This is JD. You have a nice day.